to me, the zeroist lifestyle is not about complicating your life, it's about simplifying it. I think people have a tendency to picture me as a stay-at-home mom that spends her day doing zero waste. <laughs> it's not true at all. Uh, I mean, I have a full-time job, and uh, if it wasn't for zero waste, I probably, you know, would have a super hectic schedule. Uh, but zero waste has simplified my life to really make uh, what matters most a focus in our lives. My husband quit his job to start a sustainability consulting company and I tackled the home. I started bringing grocery totes to the store instead of using the plastic bags. Then I started bringing uh, my own cloth bags, which I made from old sheets to buy in bulk. Thank you. I'm gonna, if you could feel it, that'd be great. And then I thought, well, I can yes. probably push it further and bring jars to the counters to eliminate the cheese, meat, fish wrapper. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. When I first decided to bring a, a glass jar to the counter, they looked at me and they said, you know, why are you doing this? So why, why do you want to put it in here? And I said, oh, I don't have a trash can. They're like, oh, okay. Then they put it in. I found that it was the easiest way, instead of going into long, you know, long speech about what I do and why I do it. Oh, that sounds great, actually. I found also that this way of uh, uh, shopping is a more human way of shopping because it, it forces you, in a way, to have a, a contact with the person behind the counter. Do you have a nice weekend? Yeah, not too bad. How about you? I have to speak to the person behind the counter. It's uh, we know each other, we have a conversation. We rode our bikes from San Francisco to LA. Uh, it, it gives a better sense of community because you care more about them and they care more about you. I uh, you enjoy your time. Thank you. And instead of going in the middle aisles, I only do the perimeter of the store. And the perimeter of the store is also uh, what's healthier for you. I'm actually looking for the fruit without the stickers. But it's really hard to find. That's where you're going to have the uh, unprocessed foods that, are, that don't have packaging. I used to buy lots of different products because I was listening to marketers that told me that for each application, we need a different product. To clean the floor, we need a product. To clean the mirrors, we need a different product. To clean the bathrooms, a different product. The uh, kitchen, a different product. And in the end, I had you know, a cupboard full of cleaning products which actually were even toxic for me. Once I started this lifestyle, I really questioned my need for all these products and eventually I found that I didn't need any of them. So to achieve zero waste at home, we simply follow five rules in order. Uh, so one, we refuse what we do not need. Two, we reduce what we do need. Three, we reuse by swapping anything that's disposable for a reusable alternative and buying secondhand. Uh, four, we recycle only what we cannot refuse, reduce or reuse. And fourth, we rot uh, that is compost the rest. So these are all the things we need as far as hygiene and cosmetics. On the cheeks, I use a cocoa powder straight from uh, the pork bin. And to fill this job, it cost me 72 cents and it's organic powder. And then I make my own mascara with just four ingredients. Uh, I think it was back in 2010 that I watched my husband take the trash can down to the curb with like almost nothing in it. And then I, uh, I, I told him, well, how about we keep our waste so then we'll see how much waste we generate in a year. Uh, so we started throwing it in a, in a glass jar and, uh, and so today we found that we only generate um, you know, a quart size uh, of waste per year. So this is uh, the waste that my uh, family of four collected in 2014. There's a passport cover also in there 
uh, fruit stickers, old caulking that we had to remove from behind the sink. My husband was actually not truly on board at first because he said, you know, we're just one little household. If we do zero waste at home, it's not going to change anything. Uh, I think I've been able to prove him wrong. Uh, thanks to the book and the blog, I've inspired thousands of people to adopt the zero waste lifestyle throughout the world. Um, but also my husband was not really convinced at first because he was afraid that this lifestyle was costing us too much. Um, so I urged him to compare our bank statements before, uh, between our pre-zero uh, waste lifestyle with the zero waste lifestyle. And that's where he found that we were saving 40% on our overall spending. This is due to the fact that we consume way, way less than we did before. My kids consider that zero waste is my job and in a way they're, they're right because I am the consumer for the household. I'm the one that makes uh, those decisions. I'm the one that buys for the household. And uh, zero waste is actually more what we do outside the home than what we do inside our home. A lot of people have the tendency to think, oh, it sounds complicated. It is at first because you have to figure out a system that works for you. You have to figure out where the bulk locations are. And it takes time also to declutter your life and adopt, you know, a voluntary simplicity. You have to go through every drawer, everything you have. This is my husband's column in the top, and this is mine right there. It's important to say that when you have things that you don't need, you're hoarding them from other people. You're keeping them from being useful to other people. When I started uh, my blog, I would have never, I mean, in a million years, could have imagined uh, launching a movement that would be adopted throughout the world. Uh, today, the book and the blog have inspired thousands of people, thousands of families throughout the world to adopt this lifestyle. Some entrepreneurs have taken it further uh, through their jobs. They've opened a zero waste store. Every day, it seems like I get an email from some entrepreneur somewhere in the world telling me that uh, they've been inspired to open a zero waste store. And I think it's, it's just amazing and it's fantastic.